Hello and welcome back. I'm Rebecca Robeson and this is Robeson Design. Today I have the most spectacular, stupendous, off the charts, amazing project to reveal to you. It is finally the Denver Loft. When the clients first contacted me, they said, can you furnish our new Denver condo? And I said, absolutely. They said, great. And their timetable was three months. And I was like, whoa. So the first thing I did is grab Lauren, the project manager, and get on a flight to Denver. Okay guys, so walking the loft here together in Denver and checking it out firsthand. In a loft, you've got a lot of possibilities and that's a cool thing about this client. One thing she does really, really well is buy properties with potential. It's gonna be me. I always ask my clients, okay, so you know what you want me to do. Do you want me to like throw my back into this and design something that I see as a vision or do you just want me to stick to what you asked me to do? And invariably they say, honey, throw your back into it. You know, when we put up the trailer video to this one today, one of the comments I read was furnishing. Rebecca's gonna just furnish something. Uh, she's gonna redo the whole thing, pretty much. They were so over the moon with the design. And I said, great, you wanna do this? They said, yes, we wanna do this. I said, okay, give me three more months. This is the tile that's gonna go on the walls in the shower. It's chiseled marble. This is the hardwood floor. Pee pee. And this is the chevron tile that's gonna go on the floor. When I first walked in there, the things that I saw that were really glaring to me, one was the master bathroom. An angled tub, an angled shower, that just definitely needed to go. Also the red bathroom, yeah, that sorta needed upgrading, you know what I mean? And really the thing that stuck out to me the most was the doors. So you have this like urban, hip looking downtown loft, 13 foot ceiling, six foot eight doors, those are standard height. This loft needed eight foot doors. Believe it or not, this place will be done, right Pete? You, this place will be done and ready for us to move in in six weeks. Yep. Yeah. And it's gonna have to whip around somewhere. I'm sure that's not a big deal to change, right? Well, we'd have to rip out the tile, then we'd have to move. But the good news is we have Pete here. Hi, Pete. I want to give a shout out to Earthwood Contractors. This company, Ryan, was the contractor. And I'm telling you what, a six month project with this much to be renovated is in and of itself nothing short of a miracle. So over that six month period, Lauren and I got on airplanes six times and went to Denver. The last trip there, nine days before we arrived as a team for installation, and I'm gonna tell you what, it was a little heart palpitating because they did not look like they would be ready when we arrived. Okay, I'm taking off on a trip. This is from Bloomingdale's jeans, my vest, my black jeans cardigan, jacket, scarves. So if any of this gets lost, I have proof of what I packed. She would good. like to have this picture. <clears throat> Go away. So we have an AC mm -hmm. intake thing here mm -hmm. and this here. So we had some custom grills. Yeah. And right now they're black. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, I wouldn't mind you want to climb up a ladder and stick one of those up there and let me see what it looks like? Yeah, well, there's right one right there. Right there. Uh, what, I, what do you know? Everything. If you can make those look as though they aren't there. I will. I can't finish making the bed until I have that. And we're really trying to get these beds made today. You run the risk of poking a hole in your new lampshade. Okay, thank you.
sunrise in Denver. Yeah, it has to be on a dimmer in order. Well, we're talking about, yet. what do you mean you can't? You don't have the parts to get it dimmed? I have the parts to get it dimmed, but the electrician needs to install them. Install so them. what other electricians do you know of that we could hire? Our loyalty is to the client, not mm -hmm. to the subcontractor. But if they're at their, the end of their rope, mm -hmm. I need a new rope. Hi, James. Yes. Sorry about this, I have a bad connection. We have some electrical parts that need installed and the electricians on site ran out of time. We were going to ask if our electricians had time or availability. And we were going to ask in a very passionate way. This project is huge and this client we will not disappoint. Probably not your fault, although maybe, maybe it is but it's Chris's I'm fault. The blame. I don't accept no for an answer, so I'm really begging. We'll have it done before noon. Before noon tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much, James. Uh, you didn't even ask me how much this is gonna cost. Is he straight? Um, okay. He's Canadian. <laughs> Well, there's, there's not straight guys in Canada. Just yeah. saying. Anyway, go ahead. Canadians are the most honest, direct people there that exist. We would get along very well, James. All right, give it to me straight. If there's a possibility of a future relationship, nothing. What? Yeah, I'll just do it for you. No way. Awesome! You go Canada! That's what I thought too. To stop the, the bed from falling off the end though. Well, so the headboard. So every time I've had one of these and I've had it facing the other way, the yeah. bed slides right off. Well, that's because you have a very active social life. Ugh. Hurry, guys. Did you by any chance, Rebecca, see two little black plastic circles on the ground in here and pick them up? Yep. I threw them away. I thought you weren't putting away your trash. No. Nope. You needed part them? part of the bed. Awesome. Oh, man. <gasps> Thank you, God. Oh, I'm so happy. I was responsible. <sighs> Thank you, God. Hey, Matt. Jason. Yes. Becky got him. I went dumpster diving. Because I made these. <laughs> but now if we had the two nightstands here, that very well may make that look like a headboard. All right, you guys. I will see you here in the morning. Watch me. Just follow every move. Here we are. This is the this is D Day. This is the last full day we have for this install, and we have a lot to do. So everyone is working at mock speed. Will probably be a 16-hour day, and uh, we just do that because that's what it takes. But this is it. Let's get to work. It is not And then we could put in uh, flour, sugar, and rice. We are at the last of the 10 days of install. Rebecca, so, I have splinter. Can you help me? Um, yeah. I need your I nails have, to I get have my splinter very out. thick nails. Oh my god. Okay, please don't kill me. Oh my god, I'm scared. Well, it's the only tool I have here. Nicole! I'm coming. Ah, look at her! Rebecca doing it? Okay, I pay for your medical insurance. Don't you think it's fair that I get to do this? <laughs> well, almost, we almost got it. Listen, you are welcome. Thanks, guys. Just hold me. Whoa. <laughs> it was either that or run into those mirrors that have just been freshly cleaned. Wasn't gonna do that. 
we've got different things to choose from here. That's where I'm a little stumped about what are we doing. What is on me? There's something on Probably, me. Um, Just close your eyes. Did I get it? So far, I like it, but I don't love it. Look at that. You're getting your fluffing down. Yep, I figured that's probably the difference. Got your fluffer. Everything's ready, because tomorrow's the reveal. But it's time. It's time to take my team out and celebrate what we did in a very short amount of time. And you know what to make it extra special? We sat at the chef's table. If you're ever in the downtown Denver area, you should check out the Mercantile. It's phenomenal. It was a great day, a great night, and a really good way to celebrate the completion of this. Here's the deal, when you live in a condo complex, this door has to look like everybody else's on this side. But once you walk in, oh yeah, you are ready for a Robeson design experience. I knew that I wanted to create a focal point that had symmetry in it. You know what I mean? Symmetry, where it just feels right. So before, when you looked into this room, you know what you saw? You saw half of a red chandelier and half of a dining table. The dining table sat in this location. There's tons of room for a dining room table. We'll move it down towards the living room. That gave me a great first impression location to stack three different layers, three rugs on top of each other. I also knew I wanted lighting down the hallway that would draw your eye to this pendant light. Oh my God, cool. <laughs> I see the entryway, and look, the dining room table. This chandelier, it's amazing. It's just literally amazing. Oh wait, this is supposed to come on. So there are four lights here that send the light down on the table, and the rest of these, look at these. These are literally individual computer chips and they simulate the look of a candle burning. Oh my gosh, do you love this? Look at this hood, this custom made hood. This is a, an oven, right? It's a range, that's where people cook. I don't because I wear sleeves like this and it's very dangerous. Marble is a tough stone to use in the kitchen, but it was the look that we wanted. So I picked out a marble that had a lot of veining in it. It's also very artsy looking. I mean, there's so much to tell you. Like, this could be an hour long video. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Do you want this to be an hour long video? Because it could be, I have so much to tell you. You'll see from those original pictures, this used to have a wraparound peninsula. It was okay, but it was a little awkward shaped. So what I did was I took the peninsula out, well I took all of it out, and I wrapped my kitchen from here around and over the wall that direction. This is a live edge, now that's really cool. This is my favorite. These are called coplanar doors, frosted glass, kind of goes with the look of the doors that I'm putting throughout the rest of the house, but are you ready? This, <gasps> look at that, it lit up. And then this one, same thing. Only on this side, we have a coffee station. Yes. And even some really special sugar. I bought this too. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. I have been doing a lot, a lot of shopping.
as I said, I wrapped the corner here to this amazing bar area. Got a wine fridge. We have tons of storage, wine storage here. Again, live edge shelves. But what if I need a glass? Oh. I mean, I knew it would be beautiful, but it's like, wow. Yeah, amazing wow factor. So in this living room area, this is pretty much their great room. This is the room they will watch television in. This is the room that has the view. Amazing. In this area, I wanted to get as much seating as possible. I also wanted to create a U shape for conversation. It's a little bright out here. No worries. We can take care of that. So here we are. We're sitting on this incredible sofa. We're gazing up at this, oh my gosh, this pendant light chandelier. But I took this brick all the way up to kind of connect the spaces between the kitchen and the bar area. This is a tray that you can easily remove at any, oh, it's heavy. Okay, this is a tray that could be removed if you didn't have a ton of candles on it. And by the way, they're battery powered. This pillow gave me the ability to add solid color, like this is persimmon velvet and olive velvet. I just knew it was perfect. We had this custom made along with our kitchen cabinets by EKD in Denver, Colorado. And I wanted a very modern looking piece of furniture down here. And look at this, it's so cool. Extra storage, you know what's in here? Wrapping paper. Yeah, you have to find places to keep this kind of stuff. I have never been a fan of speakers. The guy said, oh yeah, you'll have speakers. I'm like, oh no, we won't. They will be behind the brick. He goes, well, you won't be able to hear the music <laughs> or the television. I said, okay. He found me these speakers. I don't even know who, who this is by. But look at this wood and look how it goes so perfectly with my top. It only leaves me a few more places to go. One would be the master bedroom. You know, I think I'm gonna save that for last because it's sort of like the, really, wow. Now in this bedroom, I had a little bit more of a challenge because there are no exterior windows. So I came up with an idea and a way that I could kind of make it feel like there were windows. You've seen me do that before, right? Wait till you see the blue room. Did you think those were windows? Did you think that was a wall of windows? I know, doesn't it look like it? It's not. You know what these are? These are mirrors. We paired it with two matching lamps on either side, very symmetrical look, and then these gorgeous drapery that go all the way up to the top of the mirrors. Look at this. I love that. Look what's on the floor. <gasps> so pretty. I got another rug at Aja Rugs, and I say Aja Rugs all the time because that's pretty much my only source for rugs. But when it came to the closet door, I had the option to make this also in the panes and I decided, you know, if I was a girl in this room, I am a girl, and actually I'm in this room right now, but if I was living here, I would want a full length mirror. Yes, wow, this was, this had to happen. <laughs> this is great for purses, excellent place for shoes and boots down there longer. And then every single closet has its own step ladder that folds super, super thin. Take it to the top, eight foot doors with the frosted glass and on into. Hey, it, uh, <laughs> Put the place up. And 
beautiful window treatments to the ceiling. I did this one, well actually two walls in purple, and I think it is so cute. Great splashes of color, an amazing piece of art. If you're part of the design sessions, I give you all of my sources for where I buy things like this. That is really valuable. All the white and taupey color bedding, the extra comforters at the end of the beds, the accent pillows, oh, places to hang all of her clothes. But then I was like, wow, there's nowhere for shoes. Like, and there's nowhere to put drawers. It's really a very limited space. And I know the ages of these girls, and I thought, let me do her a favor. We had the closet company that did these extended on over to this area. Double, I hope she has a lot of jewelry. And then an extra shoe shelf along the bottom, which is, of course, specially lit. Do you like the purple room or do you like the blue room? Which is your personal favorite? What's your taste? Now there's another little challenge we need to talk about, and that is the two girls will share one bathroom. Okay, you're gonna wonder, you're gonna ask me questions, you're gonna say, Rebecca, I don't get, why did you do gold faucets and silver handles? Can I just tell you, I went back and forth on that a million times. Like seriously, one week we're doing all polished nickel. The next week, let's do brass. So guess what I decided? Let's do both. You can combine finishes, guys, it's okay. These handles, I love these handles, look at this. This creates this most amazing geometric shape. So look, we have tons of storage now for these girls and they are going to love me, don't you think? Come take a look at the shower. I added this smoky bronze clear lucite handle with the gold and the shower stuff is gold as well. And guess what? Here, I'm on wood. Here, I'm on tile. That looks like wood. And we took it on into the floor of the shower. So here's the thing, if you've got a super small, tiny space, don't cut it up with a lot of stuff. Think about. And now for the master bedroom. In this room, I was able to add reclaimed barn wood to both this back wall, the bed wall, as well as this wall over here. It gave so much richness and texture to the space. Out of the blue, I would have gone to. Again, 13 foot ceilings need a little something to warm them up, especially in a bedroom. But I, will go I think that by creating this background of the wood, it gave me a spot to do this bed. Now the bed's not super, super tall, but it just looks like it, the whole thing looks filled in. I did what I love to do. If you follow my videos or you're part of the design sessions, you know that I'm totally into symmetry and your first impression when you walk into a bedroom should be bam. Well, I think we did that here. On either side, I topped them with oval mirrors. Aren't they so pretty? Gives it, again, symmetry, but the best part, oh, these lights. Two comfortable upholstered chairs, and look at this tuft. This tuft, which is acting as an ottoman, oh my gosh, so adorable. You'll notice that floating beneath all of the furniture in this room is this absolutely beautiful banana silk rug. Kind of a nondescript color, because I didn't want it to you know, take over the show because I knew that the furniture was gonna be amazing. I did, however, layer it with a sheepskin rug. Probably faux sheepskin, though it may be, but it is a sheepskin rug. And what does that do? It stops this rectangular shape 
and it brings in this organic, like soft, rounded shape that just extends the furniture area. It makes the room feel big, but also cozy. Look at this, oversized. When I say oversized, now this, this is a dresser. That's not a dresser, that's not a stand. This is a dresser. What is it? Look how tall. It's so cool. Three individual drawers in each piece. Now, I'm gonna take you on over here. Oh, that is so pretty. Becky, you did good. What I can do is make it a little cooler. So yep, we put in those eight foot French doors at the entry, but look at this. A barn door. In here, my client is gonna have plenty of space to put shoes. There's even places at the bottom for boots. We have low hang for pants, uh, short shirts and blouses, long sleeve, short sleeve. There's only one thing that would outdo this closet. Just saying. Can I show you what the master bathroom looked like before I got here? This bathroom, well, there were some improvements that could have been made. Let me show you what I did. Oh my gosh, look at this. Double sink vanity. Now the vanity height is lower than it was before, so it feels better. This is a marble countertop, double square sinks, gorgeous polished nickel faucets. Let me know, leave me a comment. I think these mirrors are so cool. I went from, should I do round, should I do oval, should I do rectangular, square, blah, 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 and I found these and I thought, oh, that is really beautiful. Now I'm in the shower. Now I probably sound funny, but here's what I did. I found some really great tile. This is actually stone tile and it has a kind of a smoother finish here. Well, wow, that's weird. What's that for? Oh, so I can reach the brush? No. It's so that when I'm on the other side, I can reach over here and turn on the main shower valve. You guys know why I do that, right? So you don't have to get wet when you're turning on the shower. And look at this free standing tub. Ben, what do you think about this feature? Isn't that cute? I think this is so serene. So I imagine myself, that's how I do it. You know, I like, I have quite an imagination. <laughs> and I imagine myself, what would I do if I lived there? Take a tub bath and just literally drift off into Never Never Land. To just say thank you to Pete and to Ryan from Earthwood Construction here in Denver, Colorado. We hired him to do this project and he pulled it off in six months. Pretty amazing feat to do this much remodel, all new lighting, all new flooring, all new bathrooms and tile and kitchen and on and on and on in that short amount of time. So Ryan, great job, thank you. The guys at Elkhorn Electric worked tireless, long hours to complete this project on time. So I wanna give a shout out to those guys, they're amazing. And also Essentials, who completely wired this house to be a smart home. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this house. I hope it was kind of educational for you, inspiring for you, and a lot of fun. You know what, we are super, super, super blessed at Ropes and Design to get opportunities to do projects like this. And I wanna say a huge shout out and thanks to my clients for allowing me to share with you, my audience, their home. I wish them many years of love, happiness, and joy in this new location. All right, you guys, we're in a new year. Let's go 2018. This is gonna be the year to die for. Now, that's probably not how we wanna say that. This is the year we're gonna live like we've never lived before, right?